tell me a little bit about you know the whole process of bringing this personal struggle to life first through a book and now through a film. Uh, what was that process like? It's a process that I promised myself to start as soon as I come out of prison. Actually, I started it in prison. When I was uh, going through interrogation, when I was in my solitary confinement, I promised myself that I'm going to tell the world of what's happening inside Iranian prisons, of what's happening to many uh, journalists and activists around the world. And I think uh, writing the article, writing the book, working on the script, uh, making the film, talking to you about this film, this is all part of the same process. Do you think that uh, things, because there's a part in the film where you think, right, your father went through the same, and in the book, I assume, where they, he went through the same thing, and it seems like a never-ending chain, right? How, it's, how, I hope how, it how changes. Stop these I hope it stops sometime, because, you know, my family, we have a social consciousness. We want to have a better world, so my father, my grandfather, my sister, they were all politically active and we wanted to have a better society, a more a freer society in general. What do you think can be done today to protect journalists that are working in, in, in difficult zones? Like I were? think the, uh, journalism is going through one of its most difficult periods at the moment because the budgets of big organizations uh, are shrinking, so there's not much protection uh, for the professional journalists anymore. Professional journalists are not going to dangerous areas with protection, so it's freelancers who are going through uh, these very difficult uh, tasks, and they don't have protection. So I think it's very important to not allow uh, these different regimes to suppress journalism with impunity. We have to talk about it. We always have to uh, uh, name names. We have to shame those people who are going uh, for suppressing a free flow of information. Tell me a bit about the casting. Um, what do you see in yourself in Gael, for example? Like, what was that process like? Did you talk to him a lot about your experiences? Like, why did you share that and help him through the process? Gael is interpreting uh, me on the screen, so I don't think that he em emulated me. Gael uh, basically read the book, read the script, and reinterpreted it as an actor. He could play a scientist, he could play an astronaut. I think it's part of an interpretation, and I think uh, he's done an amazing job. And the last question, just tell me about just John Stewart, his first time directing. Uh, well, it is your first uh, film as well, but what is he like? Did anything? I know that you met him before, but what is he like as a director? What He's a like? very hard-working person. He is one of the hardest-working people I know in my life. And at the same time, he's a genius. He knows exactly what's his vision, and he's very open to ideas and suggestions. Well, thank you for stopping you. by.